Tasmota is an open source custom firmware that runs on any smart home device which uses the ESP Wi-Fi chip. It provides local control of your smart devices. Great for home assistance. You can flash various smart plugs, but here I have purchased a pre-flashed power management smart plug from a company called Local Bytes. I will leave a link below in the description where I purchased. Once you have flashed or purchased a pre-flashed smart plug with Tasmota, firstly you will need an MQTT server. Go to Settings, Add-ons, click Add-on Store, search for Mosquito Broker and click Install. Make sure Start on Boot is enabled and click Start. Next, you'll need to create a new secure username and password so your Tosmota device can connect to the MQTT server. Go to Settings, then People, select Add Person, give it an appropriate name like MQTT-User. Enter a secure password and click Create. Next, you'll need to reboot Home Assistant. Either from the settings or via development tools, YAML, then restart. Once rebooted, go to settings, device and services, select add integration and find MQTT. Enter the server name, which will be core-mosquito. Then you will enter the username and password that you have just created in the people section. Then click submit. Next, you can add Tasmota. Go into settings, Devices and Services, click Add Integration, then search for Tasmota. Now you will need to configure your Tasmota Smart Plug. Plug the plug into the socket and switch on. Once powered on from your mobile device, go into Wi-Fi. Once you see the device with the name Tasmota, click on it. You will then be connected directly to the smart plug. The first thing you are required to do Enter the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. And click Save. The device will then reboot. It should then display the IP address that has been assigned from your router. You can now rejoin your Wi-Fi if it does not automatically reconnect. Enter that assigned IP address into the address bar. Go to Configuration, then Configure Other. Just two fields you need to enter in here. Give the device a useful name. This plug will be to monitor my tumble dryer. And then enter a more useful name.
and then click Save. The plug will then reboot again. Once rebooted, click Configuration, then Configure MQTT. You'll need to enter the host address. This is the IP address of your home assistant. Here you will be entering the username and password that you've created within your home assistant people area. Once that entered, click save. Next, you will need to make this device auto-discoverable. So next click console and then at this command prompt type set option 19 space 0 and then press enter. This will make it auto-discoverable by Home Assistant. By default, the software will only check the status of the plug every few minutes. To reduce this time, which will be helpful for automations, go back into console and type tele period 60 for 60 seconds, or reduce that number to what you require, i.e. 20 for 20 seconds. And that is the configuration complete on the smart plug. Here you can toggle the plug on or off, or you can go back into Home Assistant to control the plug. Now back in Home Assistant, under Settings, Device and Services, scroll down to Tasmota, and you will now see the added device or devices. And under the entries, here you will see all the data that has been received from the plug, including the energy usage. The Tasmota plug is now fully set up within Home Assistant, ready to be controlled and to use within automations. If you like this video, click the like button and any questions or comments, leave them down below.